West Michigan home explodes, waking neighbors miles away. Pretty wild, but here's a look at what's left of that home. Not much. Police were picking through the debris after this explosion in Kent County this morning. The home was vacant, so there was no one injured, though two neighbors had to be treated for smoke inhalation. A home next door slightly damaged. They are still trying to figure out what caused the blast. A 33-year-old man has died after crashing into a tree up in Lapeer County. Sheriff's deputies say the crash happened just after midnight on Saturday on North Lake Road in Marathon Township. We're told the driver lost control, drove into a ditch before slamming head on into a tree. He was rushed to the hospital but later died of his injuries. Deputies are now trying to determine if speed or alcohol were factors. It's good news for Michigan drivers as grass, uh, gas prices are uh, down from last week. Prices down nine cents uh, from a week ago. State average now 2.48 a gallon. You can find the cheapest gas over in Jackson, 2.31 there. Ann Arbor has the highest prices in the state, 2.57. Interestingly, highest and lowest, not that far apart from each other mm -hmm. geographically. Gas prices expected to rise before Christmas and New Year's, though, of course, as plenty of drivers will be hitting the road to celebrate the holidays with family. New at 5.30. A winter wallop from snow out west to severe storms in the south. The Christmas travel rush is off to a dicey start. Congress is on the cusp of history. The House expected to vote this week to impeach President Trump. I'm Alice Barr in Washington. Coming up, how moderate Democrats are walking a fine line ahead of that vote. The Michigan State Fire Marshal's office intentionally lighting things on fire to show you a brand new safety message. Why the materials in your home mean you have a lot less time to get out of a house fire. For the latest on movie releases, red carpet events, and insider interviews, check out Real Talk with Greg Russell. Go to clickondetroit.com slash real dash talk. Brought to you by MJR Digital Cinemas. Surprise! A new Buick? For me? To James from James. That's just what I wanted. Is this a new Buick? I secret sanded myself. I shouldn't have. But I have been very good this year. I love it. I love it. Don't forget you this holiday season. Get an SUV from Buick. GM employee program participants with a current eligible GM lease can get this low mileage lease on this 2020 Envision for $229 a month. Recent statistics show a large percentage of Michiganders can save over $1,000 a year by refinancing. Call 248-308-5000 or chat with us online at davidhallmortgage.com. DTE Energy's natural gas is a lot more than just clean, safe, reliable energy. Because it does more than heat pans. It delivers delight. It warms hands and hearts. It drives business and ignites imaginations. DTE works 24-7 to keep gas safe and reliable because it's more than just a fuel. It's a part of your life. DTE Energy. Hi, I'm Matt Demmer. We carry a large inventory of new and used vehicles. We have over a thousand cars, trucks, and SUVs spread over 13 acres. We can assure you that we have the vehicle you want. During the Bill for the Holidays sales event, lease the 2019 Ford F-150 Super Crew 4x4 XLT for just $149 a month. The experience at Jack Demmer is going to be very unique, and we're going to make sure that you're comfortable with your vehicle purchase. Jack Demmer Ford on Michigan Avenue east of I-275. Hey, I'm Matthew Stafford. As a professional athlete, I'm fortunate to have a team of doctors who care for me. And it's equally important that you have your team too. First and foremost, a primary care physician. It's like having a quarterback for your health. For preventative care or the right team of specialists when you need them. My family knows from personal experience, St. Joe's is the place to turn. Assemble your team. Connect with a St. Joe's doctor today. Well, my family says I'm hard to buy presents for. This year, I'll give them a little hint. Gotta go. For people who love their vehicles and their pets, WeatherTech is the only name on their list. From our laser measured floor liners, cargo liner, 
and cup foam that secures your phone in virtually any vehicle to our pet feeding system. This season, order the perfect gift at WeatherTech.com. The season's best savings are happening now at the all-new Galling Toyota in Warren. For a limited time, lease the 2019 Camry LE for as low as $219 a month. Experience the Galling difference. Get to the all-new Galling Toyota in Warren today. Live from downtown Detroit, home of WDIV and Click on Detroit, Local 4 News at 5.30 starts now. Three minutes. That's all the time you have to get out of your home in the event of a fire. Just 180 seconds to escape the smoke and the flames with your loved ones. And that's not a lot of time that has really stuck with us too after the Help Me Hank special report on fire safety. It goes so darn fast. Firefighters say 30 years ago, we had 17 minutes to get out. So what has changed? Vic Monticelli went to the state fire marshal to see firsthand why fires burn so much faster now. Fire in the hole. The reality is most of us will never experience a fire. I guarantee it's surprising to most people. But just in case there's a new message trying to save lives. The time you have to escape is what's changed. You have less time. That's the message from State Fire Marshal Kevin Selmeyer and the Livonia Fire Department. To prove it, they found a couple of old couches showing why the materials inside so are the problem. The we'll open up the back side is, you know, you've got some of this polyester, kind of this foam cotton. That foam yeah, is here. now normal in furniture and mattresses. It's what makes it comfortable, but also what makes it burn much faster and hotter. It's not a knock on furniture industry at all, but the reality is, is that because it has this much um, foam rubber, polyurethane, polyester, which is a derivative of oil, you're going to see a lot of thick black smoke. The fire also consumes oxygen, and Livonia Fire Captain Robert Jennison says that smoke is also fuel. The smoke is like taking diesel fuel and throwing it up in the air and atomizing it, and then that smoke is continuing to burn and get hotter, and we're seeing these, hotter, these fires get hotter so much faster. To further demonstrate exactly how fast that burns, here's the couch that's now pulled out of that burn container. The foam material that was here in the mattress, gone. The wood framing still exists, but that material, that just burns so much hotter and so much faster, that went away before the rest of the couch did. Fire in the hole. For the second burn, we put a camera inside this shipping container. See how it's starting to drop right down? And this is the time that you're trying to leave. It takes just five minutes to fill the container with thick black smoke. And notice the door on the left was open most of that five minutes. If it was closed, it would have filled in two to three minutes. This double container is about the size of a small home. It's down in the living room. Well, what's going to be down this end? It's going to be bedrooms. And you can already see that the smoke is pushing all the way to the far end. Obviously, you're not going to throw away your furniture, but what you should take from this is that you now have an average of just two to three minutes to escape a fire safely, while also taking into consideration that most fires start in the living room or kitchen, so your normal exits could be blocked. Your best alternative is to gather your family, move into the, the best bedroom that maybe has a point where you can climb out onto something, a roof, a deck, or there's some folks that are actually purchasing the ladders. And just as important, close doors. Take a look at this video from Underwriters Laboratory, showing the difference between a room with a closed door and an open one during All a right, fire. All messages that closed could save left. lives when minutes Open count. Right. If it makes a difference with one family, then we've done our job here, but hopefully it reaches a lot farther than that. In Livonia, Nick Monticelli, Local 4.